Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am here to talk about this great Bible here, the Action Bible. Yes, so you probably, many people have seen this book. You've seen it, if you've gone to any bookstore, you've probably even seen it at some of your quick type of stores like Walmart and whatnot. Um, this Bible has become very popular and maybe you're wondering if this is something that you should get for um, someone in your own life. Maybe you're wondering if it's appropriate for your child or teenager or whatnot. So I'm here to give you the scoop about the Action Bible and let you know my thoughts on it. So I have finished this um, Bible recently. Um, I had finished going through the Bible, like the regular Bible, in a year. And I wanted to do something a little bit light. And so I decided to read the Action Bible. Um, this only took me, I, I read maybe um, three to four stories a day. And each story is anywhere from one page to like four to five pages. Um, and so I, I did that every day, three to four of those every day. And so I got done through this um, Bible in about three to four three months, I, w I would say. Um, but if you are really excited, you could probably get through it a lot faster. But again, I used it as my quiet time. And so I just did a few minutes every day. Um, and so it's very easy to read, very easy to get through. Um, like I said, it's divided. So instead of it being divided, like in the Bible, so in the Bible, they have it by, you know, you go to the book, and then the chapter and verse. This is kind of, I mean, it, it's, it's in order, but it's in order chronologically more so. And, um, so you can't just be like, okay, let me go look for the book of Genesis. Well, I mean, you could obviously, cause that's near the beginning, but like I said, it's chronologically. So in the middle of the story, Genesis, Job is in here. Right. Um, and so it does jump around that way. Um, so this is not something that you would take to church and, be like, oh, okay, let's see what they're talking about today in church. And you know that this is not one of those. Okay. It literally is just going through the stories in the Bible chronologically. Okay. Um, as far as the content. So this author, it's very apparent that this author was trying to keep in mind that the main people that will be reading this are children. Um, so a lot of the things that deal with like sex are not in here, um, or they might change up things. So like, for instance, with Potiphar's wife, right? The story of Potiphar's wife, uh, seducing David, we know in the real story, she was trying to get him to come to bed with her, but to make it rated G or PG, she doesn't, they don't state anything about sex. Instead, she says, oh, David tried to kiss me, you know, so they try to make it more innocent. Um, and then uh, stories that are uh, deliberately about sex, they just take it out. It's completely out. So if they can't modify it, they take it out. Now, I know for some of you, when you hear that, you're like, oh, they changed the story of the Bible, that's so bad. I'm, I'm not, for me, it doesn't bother me because I know that this is not the Bible. This is, uh, based off of the Bible. And again, it's for children. Like, do you want your children to know about certain things at a young age? You know, I think you gotta use your, your discretion on that. Um, and just trust that God will help them learn. Um, now I will say so they were like very G rated with the sex stuff. But when it comes to the violence, um, I would say this is probably PG to PG 13, um, because it does show pictures of, of violent acts. Like I'm opening it up here. You know, we see, uh, Samson tearing, um, a lion apart. You know, do you want your little child to see that? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It, you know, I guess it just depends on how sensitive your child is. 
Uh, there are pictures in here of war, of people getting stabbed, um, but it's not like bloody. So you might see, you know, like a knife go through or something like that, but it's not, like I said, it's more like PG, PG-13. I think it just depends on how much gruesomeness you want to, you know, see. Uh, so that is something to keep in mind. So if you are one that's a little, that wants to be a little bit light on the uh, violent side, this is not for you. I've had another book that I've read um, when I was a kid that doesn't have any violence, but this one, obviously it does have violence, which I will say within the Bible, it's kind of hard to go through the Bible without violence because there were wars everywhere. Um, so I guess I can see why he still decided to include it in. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, criticism. So there are a few criticisms I have regarding this now I do like I said I think that this was a really good I, I enjoyed it you know I went through the Bible and then I went through this and and the great thing about this is there's pictures there's visuals and so you know when you read through the Bible there's names and sometimes the names are difficult and sometimes there's several names that sounds alike and then you get confused like who's who I'm so confused on what's going on here well, with the pictures, it's easier to follow the story and of what's going on. So for me, even if you're not a child, like this is a great resource because I'm a visual learner and seeing the pictures helps me understand what's going on in the story. So even me, like in the future, when I get to some of these stories, like in Kings and Judges and things, I may pull this out and read it just to refresh my memory and help me remember who's who <laughs> in the story. Um, so it, you don't have to be a child to read this. It's, it's definitely good for all ages. Um, so my criticism. So again, this is a comic. It's not the actual Bible. So it's not going to have the scripture word for word. And when you have that, whenever you take from the scripture, you have that possibility of interpreting the scripture incorrectly. And so, yes, there are some things in here I would argue that might not be exactly what, what God meant. You know, um, you could argue that. Now, in my eyes, it's not to the point where I still wouldn't read this. It's just like if you go to church and your pastor says something that you don't necessarily agree with, or you read a, a book by a pastor and they say something you don't agree with. I see it in the same sense. Like you might have things in here that you're like, ah, you know, I don't necessarily agree with it, but it doesn't take from, you know, the learning experience. Okay. Um, we're supposed to rightly, you know, uh, judge what people say. We're supposed to, you know, study ourselves approved. Anyways, children, they just need to know the gist of the story. When they get older, they'll be able to learn more and more, uh, you know. Um, so there is that, okay? So there is that, that obviously it's not word for word. A lot of these pictures, a lot of these things are up to, from the interpretation of the author, okay? So it's not you know, it, it may not be what you think it should be. My other criticism, and not to be controversial, but uh, I do have criticism with some of the illustrations in here on how they um, decided to uh, depict certain Bible characters. I am of the belief that Jews were from the Middle East and they weren't from Europe. And yes, you know, now there's Jews that are from Europe, but at the time of the Bible, they were from the East, right? They're from the Middle East. And so they were brown people. I found in here, a lot of the main characters, they made them look very European. They would make them with blonde hair or with red hair, or if they had brown hair, they purposely made their brown hair lighter where everyone else, it was very clear, okay, this person's Middle Eastern, but 
you know, when we get to the main characters, let's make them more European, you know. I had a problem with that. Like, it was very frustrating. I felt that that was inappropriate. And, um, you know, if you are someone of African descent that ha gets these pictures of European, like, images of the Bible all the time, it really does something to to you. <laughs> um, you know, uh, seeing a white Jesus all the time, you know, and, and all that. Not that I'm a believer of... Um, that they were black per se. I think that they were dark skinned. I, I don't think I can go and say that they looked exactly like Africans. They might have and they might have not. I don't know. But I definitely know they did not look like someone from Ireland. And that is exactly what we see here. We see that David has red hair. <laughs> and we see that Daniel had red hair. Um... And Jesus looked very, very white. But it got interesting that, like, here we have, I think this is uh, Peter. He's He has brown hair. So I don't know how they decided how to make certain people look more Jewish and other people. Like, here's Jesus. I mean, why does Jesus' hair have to look like it has blonde highlights in it? I don't know. Um, and the way his hair falls down, it looks, it looks more like how a Caucasian would have their hair as opposed to someone from Middle East. I don't know. I had a real, like, that bothered me <laughs> a lot because it was, like, it was very, like, deliberate. Like, all of a sudden, like, everybody looked Middle Eastern and then now you have a European. And I'm not against Europeans because I am half German. Okay, let me get that straight. I am not racist by any means. I, you know, I have no problem with that. But if you have a book like this where it's very clear that you are aware of how the people look and you make everybody look that way except for the main characters, like all of David's brothers looked like they were from the Middle East. Only David had the red hair and had the European face. Like, that was, like, so, like, and uh, maybe they did that because most people who would purchase this are Europeans, maybe, maybe that's why, uh, or European descent. Maybe he, he was trying to make sure that he got his money's worth, you know, had, had people buy it, but I was offended. Out of everything, that was the most, that was the thing I was offended about the most because it was very deliberate, in my opinion. Um, but other than that, if you can get past that, I mean, this is like every other visual in the American society, just about every single visual about people in the Bible is Eurocentric. So it doesn't really surprise me. It's not like, you know, I could get past it because it's what we see all the time anyways. Um, so if you can get past that, <laughs> this is definitely a great tool. And I... Even if you're black, because I know there's a lot of black people who are like, oh, no, that's not right. And, they, and some of y'all automatically got turned off when, when I said that. God loves white people, too. OK, it's not the end of the world that he had them depicted as Eurocentric people. It's not the end of the world. OK. And God loves them, too. OK, just like he loves you. OK. Um. Don't let that be a hindrance of you being able to benefit or your children's benefiting from this book because there really isn't that many options out there for a good uh, story for children or even I would even say that this is appropriate for teens or even adults that are a picture version. And so, you know, you can still gain benefits from this book. Um, but I did want to point that out because like I said, it, it you know, I know that that could be a concern. And the thing that's interesting, they have a picture of him. I mean, maybe he calls himself white, but he looks like he is Hispanic himself. So I don't know. Maybe, he, you know, I know some Hispanics, they call themselves white, white, but he, I don't even know why he did that because he don't even look um, European to me, but. Okay, so I just wanted to give you guys, um, I, I, I will say this is not rated G. 
So use that with discretion with the really young children. If your child is mature and they can handle violence, if they can handle certain topics in the Bible, then yes, you know, let them read this. But if you think that they're not ready for it, then, you know, get them something that's a little bit more uh, young, young friendly. But this is definitely appropriate for all other ages, even adults. I think adults can benefit from this. If you like comic books, this is really a great um, read for you. So, all right. So I just wanted to give you guys my input on the Action Bible. Um, if you like this video and you want to see more videos where I critique certain books, uh, make sure you subscribe and you like and you comment down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.